everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to make a necklace using products from Sam's Bead Box, the April edition. So, he has got some absolutely gorgeous beads in this box, and I had an idea for a little necklace using, believe it or not, wire wrapping. So, I know, wire wrapping is not usually my thing, but I've been trying to get into it a little bit more lately. So, what you're going to need, and there is also going to be a pair of earrings associated with this. I don't know if we're going to get them done today um, because I've got a lot going on today. So we'll see. But we're going to be using one of these really pretty, these were just beautiful check glass beads that he had in the box this month. If you can see, they've got little um, matte, little pattern in them. They're beautiful. And they're kind of like a violet color almost or an amethyst color. And then I'm just using some of the seed beads, some of the tiny rondelles that he had in the box this month. So there, he had this mix of seed beads that were just beautiful. Here they are, these tiny rondelles. And then I just picked out um, a bunch of the other beads. Now these were on a strand as well. These were some faceted rondelles that he had in there and I've pulled out a bunch of those. There they are, okay. And then um, just some other beads from the box that were in the mix that I really thought looked pretty with this. Okay, so we've got those things. Um, I have a, a little length here of 16 gauge silver coated parawire. Um, and I'm going to be using that. I've got a noodle. Now this noodle, let me grab my ruler. Is this my millimeter ruler? Um... A centimeter ruler so this noodle is about 50 millimeters um, and if you don't have a noodle you don't have to you could just use tiger tail you could use whatever you wanted but I'm gonna be using this noodle I have a ring for my lobster to clasp on to I have a lobster clasp and I've got some Figaro chain okay so this is just some chain from my own stash and I have some 32 gauge beading wire and we're going to be doing some wire wrapping with this. It's very thin. I have some five petal flower bead caps in silver. I need to pull those out. Um, I'm not going to be using very many of them, just a couple on the focal piece. Um, and then I have some just some three or two millimeter um, spacer beads. Okay. So the bead, all these beads are in Sam's box this month. And if you haven't subscribed to Sam's bead box, um, I'm excited to see what May contains because he has put together some beautiful mixes. They're all check glass, um, just absolutely gorgeous stuff. He's had some gemstones in there. He had Tierra cash charms in there this month. I'll link the unboxing in the description box below. And if you want to subscribe, I have a code. It is Wendy. I believe it's just Wendy. I'll have to look. I'll put it in the description box below. Um, wait, maybe I have it here. I do have it here. Okay, so it's samsbeadbox.com. The code is Wendy. And that will get you $5 off of your first box if you're interested in subscribing. But I will put this in the description box below the video as well. Um, now the bead caps and the spacer beads... And I think that's it. You can get on my website if you're interested in those. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do. Oh, I'm sorry. You will need some eye pins and some jump rings. And I had an eye pin out here, but I have apparently lost my one eye pin that I had. Let me grab another one. Um, where are they? Or a head pin. You'll need a head pin. I'm sorry. Not an eye pin. A head pin. So here's my head pins. I'll just put them out here. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our little um, component here. So we're just going to take our, our thicker wire, the 16 gauge, and put it right through this donut. Okay? And we're just going to make a wire wrap loop. All we're doing is making this so we can hang the donut from the, or the donut, the noodle. <laughs> I'm in the food <laughs> thought, can you tell? <laughs> this noodle <laughs> from the chain. So I'm just going to... Bend this at a 90 degree angle. I'm going straight down. You can do it up. You can do it to the side. It really doesn't matter because you can twist them around when you're done to be however you want it to be. Then I'm going right here in the bend with my round nose pliers and I'm going to go up and over. Okay, just like that. You'll have this little question mark. Your pliers are down, so you need to rotate them up and then you want to go just go around. Okay, so you've gone under. You made a little loop. Whoops. 
I may need to adjust the camera up just a bit just so I'm on screen. Okay, you've made a little loop. I'm going to grab this loop with my pliers and I'm going to take my other chain nose pliers, not my cutters, which are those. Whoops, okay. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to try to do it neatly. <laughs> I'm not the best at wire wrapping. We all know that. But I'm going to wrap just a couple times around here. And all I'm doing is making a little loop. Okay, I'm going to cut this. After I've gone around a couple times, I'm just going to flush cut this. And then I'm going to make sure that nothing is sticking out that's going to poke me or anyone else. Okay, now you can take your pliers and you can kind of squeeze this together if you need it to look a little neater, which I do. Okay, just like that. And there we have just a little loop, and it's not the best little loop, believe me, I know, I am not the best at wire wrapping, that is just not my thing. But you can take your round nose pliers and kind of form it, you can bend it, it'll be okay. Alright, then we're going to go on the other side and we're just going to do the same thing. 90 degree angle, up and over with my wire, and around. Okay, and you can take your other plier and kind of pull this tight if you need to, just like that. I'm going to grab it, and I'm just going to wrap around a couple of times as neatly as I possibly can get it. Just like that. Okay? And I've said it before and I will say it again. I admire all you wire wrapping people out there. I really, really do. I see the beautiful, amazing things that you do. And it just, it's amazing to me because I'm terrible at it. All right. Now we're just going to straighten up these little loops a little bit. Just like this. Tuck that in. this in and there we have it it's just a little component and I know one loops bigger than the other one I hope that's not noticeable once I get this because we're going to be wire wrapping on this okay so it's going to be kind of covered up when we're done all right so there we have that now we're going to make a focal bead so I'm going to take this big bead and I'm going to take a head pin you want a, a fairly long head pin I think I've got about a two inch one here Let's see if I have any longer one. There, that one looks longer. I don't know if it is or if it just looks longer to me. It's actually not longer. Okay, weird. All right, so I'm going to take, let's use a little spacer bead here. Just dump a few of these out. I'm going to put this little spacer bead on the bottom. Then I'm going to take a head pit or a bead cap <laughs> and face it down. <laughs> Then I'm going to take a bead cap and face it up, just like this, so they kind of mirror each other there. Um, I'm going to take one of these little rondelles, because I have a lot of these, and then I'm just going to put my big bead on. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Little rondelle here, bead cap, cupping the bead, and a bead cap away from the bead. and a little spacer bead on top okay so there is a really pretty that makes a really pretty little focal you can also put your bicone on top if you want and that looks good but how many bicones do i have eh, i may do that i may do the bicone let's see what it looks like with the bicone on i think that would be kind of pretty so let's do the bicone this facing down, this one facing up, this rondelle, the big bead. I could actually do another bead cap in here as well. Let's see what that looks like. I want it to be kind of, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, okay. I want it to be kind of ornate and, you know, pretty. All right, so then we'll do this one facing down, this rondelle, this one down, this one up, and this bicone. Oh, that's really, yeah, that's a pretty little link there. Now I don't know if I have enough room to make a loop, though. Let's try. I'm just going to do a regular loop, bending 90 degrees, 
and rolling back with my chain nose or round nose pliers a really small loop because I'm about out of head pin and it does actually work thank goodness okay so there's our component that's very pretty and that is what we're gonna hang from here okay but we're not gonna hang it just yet actually yeah I think we are gonna go ahead and hang it and the reason for that is because I'm gonna start the wire wrapping and I kind of need to know where this hangs in the middle you know I, I kind of need to have it there hanging in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and put a jump ring on oh watch me not be able to get this thick jump ring through there I hope it will go because I really kind of want to use this thick jump ring it's not gonna go let me grab another one that's not quite as thick yeah here we go this one will and I'm just going to put my noodle on have to open it up pretty wide to get that noodle in there come on now <laughs> I know I could just slide the noodle through probably that would be better let's do that since it's but see I knew I was gonna run into this wire issue so I need a third hand at this point anybody want to come over and um, give me a third hand so I actually got to meet one of my subscribers last night I got to meet Lynn and I'm so excited um, to get to meet her. It was really awesome. I didn't get to stay very long because we're doing some, we've got some crazy stuff going on in our life right now with my in-laws and we're also going out of town today um, for a little trip because Monday is our anniversary. So I didn't get to stay very long, but I did get to meet her and it was really, 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 really nice. Um, so she gave me a box of beads. I'm going to be showing a haul or an unboxing or a friend mail, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Here eventually but I'll, I'm hoping to get that film today before I leave all right so here's our little component this is pretty and now we're gonna pull out our wire so it's gonna get crazy from here all right I'm leaving the wire on the spool well no I'm not no I'm not I thought I was going to I'm not going to I'm going to cut a length of probably two feet here I'm not gonna make it too long because I, I get all tangled up with wire <laughs> so we're just gonna you know do just a little bit and then we can always add more it's easy to add this wire on it's so little and thin and so I'm just gonna take my jump ring here I'm gonna wrap this wire around the jump ring and twist all I'm doing is securing it I just want to make sure that it has an attached point before we start wrapping okay so there that is and now I'm going to grab start grabbing my beads so I'm going to take a seed bead one of these I'm going to try to put the bigger beads in the middle so one of these bigger beads and I will do a little spacer so here's what I've got seed bead bigger bead spacer I'm gonna let them drop down just like this and I'm going to just take this and hold it and I'm just gonna wrap okay so the first little bit here is difficult because you've got to get it secured to your thing so I'm just gonna wrap it right where I want it to go I'm wrapping the wire around a few times there and then I'm gonna grab some more beads so I think I will do a bicone a spacer bead and a couple of seed beads drop them down Okay, just like this and then I'm going to go back underneath this bead to the other side and just wrap you there is no certain way you have to do this okay you can wrap in between the beads just as long as you're securing it to the noodle that's all that matters and that you want it you know it looks the way you want it to look so just secure it to the noodle go around like if you can see I went back up in between these beads there's a strand of wire there I'm just but I'm making sure that it's secured down to the noodle okay so there we have those let's grab let's see um, 
I'm going to do another one of these rondelles and a bicone. And then I'm going to pick up one of these little sparkly rondelles, the little teeny tiny ones. Untangle that. And I'm just going to wrap it around and secure it on, going around a couple of times around my noodle there. Okay, turn these around. You've got to kind of, you'll have to adjust this as you do it, okay? For some reason, they always want to seem to fall to the bottom of whatever I'm doing, <laughs> and that's annoying. So just turn them around, you know, make them lay like they need to lay. And that wire is pushing that up. I'm going to lay it down. All right, so I'm going to grab... A couple more let's see let's do one of these um, check by cones here and a seed bead a rondelle the little sparkly round rondelles the tiny ones and a spacer okay so there's what I've got now on there bring it down and just wrap it okay I'm going to go back in between those two big bead, bigger beads right there, adjust it around, there we have it. Now I'm going to put, let's see, I'd kind of like to put a spacer, a little silver spacer, and a bicone, and a couple of seed beads, and another silver spacer. And I'm going to do these right in here. Okay. I'm going to set it where I want it. I'm going to go in between a few beads and just wrap. You can scrunch this together too. There we have it. All right, let's see. Let's do one of these rondelles. A couple of these little guys. I'm just randomly picking things up. I'm not... Um, there's no pattern to it. It's just whatever my own creative control. <laughs> okay, we'll go, let's see, that one's kind of, let's go around with him. Okay, so see, it just ends up looking like you've got these little beads just all over. They're so pretty. Look at that. It's really pretty. Okay. I'm going to do a couple small beads here, so maybe a couple seed beads. These seed beads are such a pretty color, and they give such a, a sparkle to it. Uh, they really, they've got like an iridescent coating on them. They're beautiful. Okay, so there's my seed beads. Let's just wrap. You just want to make sure everything's secured. Go around a couple times. Now, I'm going to go back toward the middle here, so I'm just going to wrap around. I get back down into the middle. I'm going to add some more here. So let's do that. one of these rondelles. We'll do some of the tinier beads and a spacer. Now, I want to kind of go down. I want to make this kind of come down onto where this jump ring is. So I'm just going to go down here a little. I'm going to wrap it around the noodle like that and then I'm going to go through this jump ring right here and just try not to get your wire kinked up because it will this 32 gauge is so thin so I just went through the noodle and now I'm going to put let's see I'm going to do a couple of small beads so we'll do these two right here and a little spacer and then I'm going to add on one of my bigger beads so let's let's do this this big guy right here this is the biggest one on here I think it's an eight millimeter if I can find the hole there we go all right and see I want him to be kind of in the middle right around here so I'm going to go up and wrap around a couple of times there we go. And then I'm actually going to go around this down to the bottom again because I'm going to come back out 
here with some more beads. I want this middle part to be really full. So let's see, let's add this big bead on. Let's do a, a silver spacer. I really like the silver added in here too. Um, I just feel like it gives it a really nice touch to have the silver in the middle of all these other things. And I'm going to do this big bead. Do I need... I kind of need some of the bigger beads on the side too. So let's do these two. And let's just go right up through there. Yeah, this is turning out really pretty. This mix that Sam put together was just beautiful. All right, so here's what we've got. Now, I'm running out of wire and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to wrap this around several times right here. I'm going to take it through whatever I can find that is near, okay? So I'm just gonna take it through another spot and pull it tight. And then I'm just gonna wrap around a little bit right here. And I just, I'm just doing that so, you know, I'm just securing it down so it doesn't, doesn't come out and unwind. I'm actually going to put it right through here if I can. Okay, there we go. All right. And then I'm just going to trim that right here and just tuck it down. You want to make sure it's tucked down because let me tell you, <laughs> when this stuff pokes you, it hurts. <laughs> it's like a little needle and um, yeah, it hurts. So just make sure it's tucked down there. Okay, so we actually need, I've got my thing not hanging right. Let me bend it around a little. There we go. Okay, we actually need to start over here now. So I'm just going to get another piece of wire, probably about the same length as what I just had. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take it and just wrap it around a few times to get it secured on here and take it through a couple of these beads, back around and around. All right, so... I'm going to tuck the end around here because we're going to go right over top of that. And here's what we've got. Okay. Now, let me get that out of the way. I'm just going to start grabbing some more beads. So I've got one of the little sparkly rondelles here. And a, a couple of the little spacers, seed beads. And let's do another little sparkly guy. Okay. Bring them down. And just wrap around, securing it on. Okay, so let's do, let's see, let's do one of these rondelles, a bicone. I'm just picking them up at random. There is no pattern to it at all. Let's do these right here, drop them down. Wrap around a couple of times to secure. Okay, I'm going to pick up a bigger one. I think I'll do this other bicone right here because it's over here, so it kind of evens it out, the matching one. Drop it down. Seed bead. Whoops. And a little spacer. Whoops. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm not wanting to pick it up for some reason. It's running. Okay, there we go. And I just want to kind of situate that one right there. Come down here. All right. And just wrap it, secure it on. Okay, so there's what we've got. It's looking really pretty. Now, let's see. Let's add... A bicone, 
laser bead. Three seed beads. Okay, just secure it on. We're just going to keep wrapping right up the side here. I'm going to do a rondel, one of these little guys. How about a bicone? Okay. I'm going to do another little bit bigger one over here. So I think I'll do this. This Well, let's do... I'm going to do a little rondel and a seed bead, or a couple seed beads here. And then I'm going to do this guy, this bigger guy. He's like a six millimeter, I believe. Okay. And let's put him right on up here. Right here is perfect. Wrap it around to secure it. Move him if you need to. Okay. Now, we're about to the end. I'm going to wrap a couple of times. I am going to add on a few more over here, just at the very end, the little ones. We'll do a bicone, spacers, a couple spacers. That second one jumped on there by itself. <laughs> and some seed beads. Okay. Take this right here around the end. Get on there now. There we go. Just wrap. And let's just kind of look at it and see it looks. I really want this to be down a little bit more. So I'm just going to bend it. You can manipulate this around. I'll secure that. Okay, that looks better. Wow, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my wire. I'm going to go through here a little bit, wrapping. Um, I kind of want to put... Do I want to put a little silver in there? I, I feel like it needs something right here. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. If I do too much, I'm going to make it. I'm going to mess it up. That's what I do. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to wrap around a few times. I'm actually going to go under this right here. I can get under there. I've realized just now that I don't have my glasses on. I do this every time. <laughs> I can see fine at a distance, but up close, man, it's bad. Well, I can't see fine at a distance without my contacts in, but usually I have my contacts in. But my eyes are terrible. I've had bad vision since I was a small child. And, yeah. So, alrighty. And we're just going to go under here. Pull it up. Just wrap a couple more times. And we're done with this part. <laughs> so cut that off again I can't stress how important it is to tuck that in because if you don't you will be poked and it hurts I've actually made myself bleed all right and there we have it so there is our wire wrapped component I think it's beautiful so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our chain this is very simple part here we're not doing anything major we're just going to take our chain and hang it up the side. So you've got to decide how long you want this to be. I don't want this to be very long. I think I might keep this one because <laughs> I really like it. But I want it to hang just, you know, not long at all. Just almost right at the collarbone. Not a choker, but, but not too far off from a choker. So let's see here. I'm probably, let me measure this. Believe it or not, I don't know how long I like my necklaces. <laughs> I like them all different lengths. This is about six inches or nine inches of the chain. And I think I'm going to cut it there and try that. So I'm just going to cut it on this big link right here. The good thing with this kind of chain is if it you need it longer, you can just splice your links back together. You know, it opens and closes. So 
that simple. Okay, so we've got the same thing over here. And I'm going to cut right here. All right. So let's see. I am going to hook these on with a jump ring. Let me grab a couple little jump rings here. And I'm just going to hook this one on here. Put my chain on. Close it up. Boy, I'd sure like to have my glasses on right about now. I'm going to have to start. I don't even have any over here. I mean, it's ridiculous. I have them all over the place. But for some reason, even though I put them here and put them here and put them here, I put them on. Then I move them up on my head, I walk away, they get taken off somewhere, and they're never here when I need them. Like right now, there's one side. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side, same thing. So I don't know, I need to do like they do in the bank. So they have that little thing that sticks down to the table and they put the pen on it so you can't steal their pen. I need to do that with my glasses. <laughs> I need to attach them to my table so they're on like a string or something and I can't walk off with them. That's actually a really good idea. I may actually do that. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's our necklace. Now let me hold this up and just see if it is sitting where I want it to sit. Oh yeah. That's pretty perfect. Okay. So nine inches per side gets it right up around my collarbone. Okay. And then I'm going to attach my lobster claw. Uh, one side already had a jump ring. Here it is. Let's go ahead and put the lobster on. Let's go ahead and put the ring on the other side. What did I do with my ring? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I had it. I swear I did. You know I did. You saw it. It's gone. <laughs> I swear. I am so like unorganized lately. I don't know what my deal, my deal is. All right. Let me just find another. <laughs> just a jump ring will work actually. What the heck did I do with that ring? It was literally, I mean, I haven't gone anywhere. It has to be here. It's not. I just put a jump ring on. All right. But because I don't have my ring, I'm going to make a pretty little dangle. Let's put it on here just out of pure spite because my ring walked off. So, yeah, let's make a dangle. Let's do a little... Let's do a little rondelle on here. And how about a couple of these, all well, these little space or seed beads. There we go. A couple will fit on there. A couple of little seed beads. I wish I had another bicone. What do I do with all that? Do I have any more bicones? I do over here in my earring pile, but I probably ought to keep them in my earring pile. Um, okay, well, we'll just do another rondelle. There we go. And maybe a silver spacer on top. I'm just going to make a little dangle since I can't find my pretty ring. <laughs> Don't know what happened to it. I don't know how that happens. I mean, literally, I have not moved. I'm sitting right here. You all know it. And the ring's gone. I haven't done anything. I mean, where could it have even gone? Same place my glasses are, probably. All right, there we go. Okay, and I'm just going to hook this right on here. We got a cute little dangle on there. And we'll close this up. This dangle reminds me I got. They're not up on the website yet, but they will be. They are Druzy extender chains, and they are so pretty. I got them in like a gold and a... They're not real Druzy, obviously. They're resin, but they're still really pretty. Um, but yeah, that reminded me of those. So here we have it. Oh, and I just poked that piece of wire in my finger. See, I told you guys, this stuff... Oh my goodness, there it is. I picked it up, put it in the trash, and wounded myself. Be very careful. This little wire is dangerous. Okay. Ooh, that hurt, too. All right, so here's our necklace. Let me get a form and stick it on there, and you can see the finished product. Okay, so here's our finished necklace. Um, I really like this. I do. I think this is one of the better ones that I've done in a while. I can't get it to show because of the light. 
turn the light down. There we go. That's well, shoot. What's the deal with the lighting in this room? Okay, there we go. That's better. Well, it was for a second. Okay, there it is. Anyway, you guys saw what the beads look like. I don't know why it's doing this. Uh, there we go. All right. Thank you, camera. That was very kind. Um, I'm going to turn the brightness down. There we go. Anyway, there's our beautiful little necklace. I think it turned out great. I really like it. Again, it hangs just below your collarbone or right around the collarbone area. And um, yeah, it's pretty. So check out Sam's Bead Shop. Um, he has absolutely beautiful things. And if you're interested in subscribing to the box, you can get $5 off with coupon Wendy off your first box. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.